Turning our sights to the U.S., frontrunners Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton scored big wins in the New York primary today, making it seem more and more likely it will boil down to these two titans in the presidential race. Hwang Wojun gives us the updates on the race for the White House. Although there weren't any major upsets today, winning the Empire State was more than significant for both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton because it moves them both that much closer to sewing up the nomination. With 98 percent of the votes counted, Trump, the real estate mogul and Queens native, claimed victory with 60.5 percent of the vote. Ohio Governor John Kasich was second with 25.1 percent, and Texas Senator Ted Cruz got 14.5. Of the 95 delegates up for grabs, Trump won 89, Kasich got 3, and Cruz, 0. To win the nomination at the party convention in the summer, a total of 1230 delegates are needed on the Republican side. In his victory speech, Trump was not afraid to express his confidence about his prospects in the rest of the nominating contest. We don't have much of a race anymore, based on what I'm seeing on television. Senator Cruz is just about mathematically eliminated. On the Democratic side, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton clinched a crucial win against her rival Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders with 57.9 percent of the vote to his 42.1. Of the 247 delegates up for grabs for the Democrats, Clinton goes home with 135 and Sanders with 104. Democratic candidates need 2383 delegates to win the nomination. Clinton, who was elected the first female senator of New York in 2000, said in her victory speech that the win in her adopted home state is personal for her. You know, today, today you proved once again there's no place like home. Even though Senator Sanders fared better than his Republican counterparts, the loss in New York has dampened his momentum after a string of victories. The next big day to look out for? The 26th of this month, as voters across five states will head to the polls. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.